The Inquis Inquisition is now a force to be reckoned with. Call its allies to rally their soldiers and march with the Inquisitioner Trevilian's army to the Arbor Wild, where they will face Corpheus' zealot one final time. The Inquisition must stop Corpheus before the Darkspawn Magister finds a long-lost elven artifact in the wilds that will allow him to enter the Fade physically and claim its power. Oh, snap. All right, we've got 294 power. Let's go. With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. Well, we can't have that, can we? In Redcliffe, I saw the future Corypheus built. We can't let that happen. It was always so, was it not? The madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? Oh, crap. Oh, man, this is going to suck. All right. Work as a team. I advise we stop panicking. You listen to my plan. Work as a team. You overcome it. All three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Tis why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? Well, I'm proud of all of you. The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. Oh, snap. All right, who are we bringing with us? We're gonna bring the original gangster crew, that's who. Cassandra, baby. Mount up. Varric, get your shit together, brother. Solus, my friend. It's uh, time for us to travel, brother. Oh, ho, ho. oh snap a doo. Man, that's a long load screen.
Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Make the monsters pay, Captain. Leave none standing. We shall not flinch, Your Worship, not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? <laughs> uh, yes. They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Namelana so banale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. Could they be the same? Could Illuvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Alluvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. 
and his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. So that's how the bastard survived, Talk. We'll find a way to stop Corypheus once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemon's... It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this Elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? Atishol via Abalassan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven. Shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Perform a ritual to appease Elven God? Long dead or no, I don't like it. If need, do not step any place you have stepped before. There can be no vacillation. This is where petitioners walked the path of their gods. It is where they paid fealty to the gods. I have seen it in the Fade. Only the Reverend were permitted to touch this ground, and only in solemn contemplation. Fucking steam. Yes. Uh, who are those temple You've seen elves? The elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Ruh-ru. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? To discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however, find these elves reluctant to part with their long-kept secrets. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. You I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct. Particularly when unexpected. Let's continue. As you wish. All right, through the big door we go. Make a save right here, and we'll head back in. Come on now!
catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. An army fights and dies for us. The longer we tarry, the more soldiers we lose outside. Let's jump down and be done with this place. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't need to reach the Well first if we stop them before they find it. Reach the Well before they do and their plan is ended. And your plan? There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me, your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It's said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Tis not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? We're being watched. Vanavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You stumble down our paths at the side of one of our own. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies. They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vira Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world because he lacks the power to restore it.
So you're elves from ancient times? Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan? The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. What is this Vera Belisan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. We did not come here to fight you, nor to steal from your temple. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these Sentinels. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belisan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! The Well of Sorrows. So Mithal endures. Andraste, guide us. Down. An army of these bastards won't stop us! How will you get to the well, General? Tell me! You tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chowdhury never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. Maddox is dead. It's over, Samson. Surrender. Why are you here? Your reserves are gone, so is the Lyrian. Isn't it time to stand down? To enjoy the mercy you showed our brothers and sisters? No thanks. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus, that he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that to my face? After you butchered my men? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength the Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now, with a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go?
power's all well and good until it's taken away. What did you do? What did you do? My armor is gone. The lyrium. I need it. Kill them all. <laughs> Now! Not the well, you French. You can't take it from Corypheus. You mustn't. He's still breathing. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Oh, shit. Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it. 
Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. It can't be easy, holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can. To fight your enemy. Not without your permission. One does not obtain permission. One obtains the right. The Vera Belasan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this, you shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Oh, snap. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Virabella San remains, as do we. That is something. Temple. Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shemlin have not touched. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. You could come with us. Fight Corypheus. He killed your people. We killed ourselves long ago. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. His name, Abalas, means sorrow. I said, I hope he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. 
I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. What training makes you so qualified? I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? I would be. You lead the Inquisition. This is not a risk you can take. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. What's to stop you from taking the knowledge and leaving? My word. If that seems insufficient, Corypheus threatens all, even myself. He must be stopped. And who stops you? I, Inquisitor, seek neither immortality nor your life. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. You're asking me? This is a lot of... weird... I barely understand how any of this works. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Elasin Salah, Visan, Visan Allah. I, I am intact. There is much to sift through, but now we can. Damn! 
Oh, brother. There goes me bread and butter. It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corythius and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corythius is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. Meaning he will attack us directly. It's Skyhold. Not necessarily. But neither will he remain idle. And how could you have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You're sure? If there are no bodies for him to jump to... You assume there is a limit to the range of his power. There is not. Then what do you propose? Killing the dragon is no simple task, if it could even be found. There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. <laughs> 